So we are today in uh, Antoni, in this very beautiful palace. And uh, yeah, I will play. I will play tonight. I'm very excited. And uh, well, the program is uh, is actually apart from the last piece, which is the third sonata, which is not new at all. The the rest of the program is is, is quite new. I haven't played this uh, anywhere actually. So so actually, it's 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 quite quite an exciting day for me. And uh, the program will be a, a new set of mazurkas for me, the Opus 33, all four of them. Uh, after that, I will play the Barcarola, Opus 60, and then uh, a set of uh, seven preludes of the Opus 28, uh, not in order, <laughs> which I really like to do before, the, before a, a Chopin sonata, and the, the Chopin third sonata, as I said before. And uh, the reason for this program is uh, Four of the new preludes that I will play tonight will be will be paired later with the second sonata, which is a, actually a work in progress right now. So, so these seven preludes, I also felt like they, they did a very good, uh, yeah, like the name prelude says, they will prelude the 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 sonata. So, very excited. So the the closest uh, to my heart. Uh, yeah, Chopin pieces are, are quite difficult because most of them you find yourself one day just wondering if, if they are, <laughs> you could say, your favorite, you know, but, but uh, I would say overall and over time it's the third sonata in general, and uh, but particularly the third movement, but in general, the, yeah, the, the entire sonata. And uh, why? Because I actually feel like not only intellectually, but very <laughs> emotionally with the sonata that that is, uh, it's one of the roundest in, in every sense, in the compositional sense, emotional sense, human sense, uh, the way he, he actually dives into the human spirit. It doesn't matter if it's Polish, Spanish like me, or anywhere in the world. You know, uh, this, this sonata uh, puts together all these ideas in, in, a, in a quite compact form, actually. So, uh, yeah, overall, I think that's the, that's the piece that is, is closest to me. So the Chopin competition, I think I speak for myself and probably for everybody in the finals, that uh, it has really changed uh, uh, our lives. In my case, it's uh, it's more about I've been able to to present myself, you know, all, all around the world. I can say, and it's uh, yeah, it has uh, it's the other side of the coin. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. Well, the most exciting place. That, that's that's a good question because every every place has its own uh, particular, uh, how to say, idiosyncrasies. Like uh, everything has its own flavor. Like tonight, I feel like it's also one of the most special concerts. I don't know why, because of the environment, the atmosphere. I don't know the weather. <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, in this past year, I could say. Maybe when I played in Cavatina Hall, actually, it's one of my favorite halls, I could say around the world. It's, it's a quite new hall in Blasco Biawa, and uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> I loved that place. It was a complete shock to me. And probably also in uh, in uh, Japan, all the, actually 12, 13 concerts I did there, every single one of them was was so special, and they were so, so like, smashed together that I, I almost don't remember exactly <laughs> where I was and what happened, but it was, it was, all of them were really, really, really special. Well, about my Carnegie Hall, I could say recital debut. I, I played there before, but uh, shorter, this is, this is the, the, the real concert. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this debut recital is also one of the, one of the dates that I have been waiting for the past year, I could say. And uh, also, the program is quite uh, quite eclectic. I, I, of course, I put my favorite third Chopin piano sonata in that program, but uh, yeah, I mix it with Schubert and, and Rachmaninoff, and it's. I will play also the world premiere of my own pieces also. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very you know uh, how to say uh, symbolic date uh, date for me after the after the Cleveland and the Chopin competition, both of them. So yeah, it's <laughs> just special. So about my own pieces, well, this cycle of pieces uh, particularly was, was composed during the pandemic. Well, 
I was in New York, and frankly, New York was, I could say, dead, dead for like one year. <laughs> so in that time, I had the, I was very lucky to be, uh, to be able to go to a, uh, to a piano rebuilding store where they have very old pianos like Britain's piano and Andra Schiff's uh, Turing piano. They, they have very old pianos and they, they are beautiful. And I was able to, to practice there and, uh, and of course get inspired during this time and compose these uh, 13 pieces, this, this cycle. Uh, it's over an hour long of pieces and uh, these pieces, I, I chose four pieces for, for the Carnegie Hall recital just because of course one and, one and 10 minutes that, that the, the whole cycle lasts, it, it's too long for a concert. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's my first time to play it in a, in a public concert. Sometimes I play one of the pieces, and it resembles a little bit uh, maybe Federico Monpo. And uh, this piece, sometimes I play it as an encore, but uh, nobody realizes. <laughs> so <laughs> we could say that it's the first time that it's written in a program. Yes, that, that's for sure. All of them are recording and, and, and on YouTube, but also it's kind of hid hidden, hidden away. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it's the, it's the first time. Well, I actually started composing. Um, I was nine or 10. Yeah, I started my first uh, harmony lessons with my with my main professor's husband. He was a very knowledgeable man that came, came all, the way from, uh, all the way from Moscow. He was a, a Jewish, uh, Jewish man and she was Ukrainian, very, very interesting, but <laughs> they both came uh, from, from Moscow to, to, to Spain and uh, I would study with her uh, piano. It's my first years, of course, my fourth or fifth year with the piano. And then I started to study harmony because he was the, one of the most knowledgeable people from, from Moscow, but they just, they just fled the, the, the communist times. So yeah, I, I started with, with him harmony and naturally the, the, with the exercises, some compositions came along there, like a, na just naturally. And uh, of course, improvising at the piano or this, these kind of things already lead to composing. Uh, this is the first cycle that I have finished, actually, because everybody got time during the the, the COVID pandemic. So <laughs> on that on that time, I could finish. But of course, yeah, it takes time. <laughs>